Are you trying to grow your shoulders? What are the best shoulder exercises to do? What are the best methods to make that happen? Because shoulder strength is key to a lot of other exercises. For instance, your bench press. You, even though you're working your chest, your shoulders are involved a lot in that exercise. And it's the same way with a lot of other exercises. So it's really important that we hone in on our overall shoulder strength. And that's what we're talking about in today's episode. So strap in and get ready for episode 102. Let's go. I've always been that skinny guy. Why can't I gain muscle mass? What do I do in the gym? They said I'd always be skinny. This is your complete source for how to gain lean muscle and break out of your skinny body. From nutrition to getting the most out of your workouts and everything in between. We know just how frustrating gaining muscle mass can be. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk Podcast. Hello, welcome to today's episode. My name is Brian Parody. I will be your host today. And I'm excited about diving into how to increase your shoulder strength because it's important. But before we get to that, if you've not been over to bonestobulk.com, it's really a great resource. I have all the episodes of the podcast on there. We have our entire gear line. And if you check out the blog, I even have a ton of really good recipes. So there's a lot on there. And then don't forget to grab your free training. You'll see it right there on the homepage. It's like a less than 15 minute video where I share with you the top three things I wish I had known when I started because I would have saved myself so much grief, so much wasted time. So head on over to check that out. With that being said, let's dive in. So I'm sitting here, it's pretty early in the morning and I look over and my wife has a whiteboard in our office and written on it, it says, be freaking consistent. And you know, that's valid in every area of life and absolutely in fitness because consistency is the key. And I know this is supposed to be about shoulders. I'm doing a little diverge here off the road, but you probably heard me talk about like fad diets. And the reason I hate them so much is because they don't teach consistency. It's a short-term solution to a long-term problem. They don't teach you how to eat for life. Instead, it's go on this super strict diet and hope for the best once you come off it. So anyway, there's my little rant. All right, you wanna get massive shoulders. You wanna get stronger shoulders. How do you do it? What do you need to do? Well, first off, the exercises you perform are key. And while there may be some that come to mind with ease, there may be some that you're not used to doing. And maybe the way you're doing them is affecting your shoulder gain. So first off is the overhead press. Now, there's several ways to do this. You can do it seated with dumbbells. You can do a standing overhead press with dumbbells. You can do it standing with a barbell, like lots of different variations. I always recommend using dumbbells if you feel like you have any strength imbalances in your body. In other words, if you notice that one side is stronger than the other, then definitely always use dumbbells because that'll help even that out. Uh, If you don't have an issue with that, you can do barbell. Now, with the standing, I really like the standing press because in addition to hitting your shoulders, you're also having to tighten that core and it's working that out because you're keeping it tight throughout the exercise. Now with the standing, you're not going to be able to do as much as if you're seated because you'll find that it's harder. So, and another good thing is to rotate, do one, one week, one, the other. Some other ones you need to be doing are the front and side lateral delt raises. That's where you hold the dumbbells and you go straight up on the front. And then also the side lateral or same thing. You hold the dumbbells at your side and then lift straight up to the sides. Now, the key to these, the absolute key, I see it done all the time incorrectly in the gym where it's kind of like, you know, when you get in the the groove of the barbell curl and the whole body is swaying, well, it's the same way with these. The back gets in, in with this delt raise and the whole body swaying. Drop the amount of weight you're doing. I promise if you do this the way I'm going to tell you, you won't be able to do much. I was doing it with 15 or 20 pounders in the gym the other day, so not much weight at all. Grab the dumbbells, lift up slowly, get to where it's level with your shoulders, hold it for a second, then count to three as you slowly lower it back down. Do the same thing with the side lateral raises. I'm telling you, if you do it this way, it's going to kick your ass. There's three you can do with a plate that I think are a fantastic finisher to your shoulder workout. And those are, number one, play eights. This is where you hold the plate straight out in front of your face and you move it in a very small, it's not a big pattern, but a small figure eight pattern. And you do this for as long as you can. The next one, it's called several things, bus driver, driving the bus, whatever. But it's where you hold the plate, again, straight out in front, 
so it's in front of your face and you slowly turn it to the left as much as you can and slowly turn it to the right as much as you can and keep going back and forth again do this as long as you can. Then the last one is kind of a modified reverse wood chopper. So you're gonna start off standing and you're gonna hold the plate around waist level. Then you're gonna side swipe it up. So you're moving it up and to the side and then you're gonna move it back down. You're holding it at your side standing, then you're gonna just lift up and to the side and then back down in that same movement. And then you're gonna do the other side. And again, do as many of these as you can without stopping. These three combined, so if you stack them, you do the play dates, you do the bus drivers, and you do the, the reverse wood chop, and that be a set, like go as long as you can on each one, pause, rest, and then go through it again, it's going to kick your butt, especially if you throw this in at the end of shoulder day. Like it will wear you out, trust me, try it out. And it's super effective for really developing those delts because they really, really target it well. Another shoulder exercise that I really like is the Arnold press. And you've probably seen this. It's basically where you start off holding dumbbells. Usually I do this seated. You're gonna hold the dumbbells in your fist with your fingers facing you. So kind of a reverse grip, like you're doing a curl. And as you do an overhead press, you're rotating your wrists outward. So when you get to the top of the press, your fingers are facing away from you. And then you do the opposite as you come back down. You're gonna, as you come back down, rotate those wrists back in so that when you get to the bottom of the press, your fingers are facing you. This is a really great variation of the overhead press because it includes a lot of rotation in it. And so as you rotate, you're moving the emphasis of the exercise from the rear delts to the front delts. And you're also strengthening that kind of rotational movement because our shoulders, we do a lot of rotational movements. So I like to kind of uh, rotate between regular overhead press and the Arnold press and kind of do one one day and one the other day. So I highly recommend incorporating those as well. All right, well, I hope this gives you some ideas for some new shoulder exercises to incorporate. Start really focusing on how you're doing them, especially those front and side lateral raises, telling you it's gonna make a huge difference. No pun intended. <laughs> All right, so with that being said, remember, no matter what anybody has told you, what lies you've believed, how many times you may have fallen flat and just failed, you can overcome what seems like this insurmountable mountain. You can get over this wall. You've got this.